my name is Bidu. Uh I do uh, Java and Python. Well, I did Python and now I'm doing Java at Zebra Robotics. So for my clock challenge, the first thing we had to do was we got the challenge, which was our first challenge was that we had the space and like Mars theme. So there were four astronauts and they were trying to send messages, but all their messages were corrupt, were corrupted. And we had to basically just had to fix them. So we got to know how they were corrupted. So then, uh, yeah, this is my code in Python on how to fix it. We had like two days, I think we had a week, but if you wanted extra points, you could do it in two days. So you can see when I run it, you can see all the stuff that I coded and how I can decrypt the message. Uh, and we also had a bonus challenge, which was basically the same thing, but instead of them entering it manually, there was a letter where you just had to do file input output. And that was just a bonus challenge. Then the second challenge they gave us was um, having, it was following the space and Mars theme. So we basically had to find, we had to get the satellites that they had to fix. They distances from each other. And then we had to choose the fastest route that they could take to to get to all of them. So we had to get their the satellite names as well as the distance matrix, which then I also did this one here. Uh, and then you can run it right over here. And then you can just say how many satellites you need and yeah. And it's all in Python too. Probably with the, the storyline and like the creativity it was very interesting and I got to incorporate some aspects of the story into my code, which was cool. And it was also a little more challenging than last time, I think. Uh, it was definitely a different uh, coding language than I did last time. I think last time I did um, HTML and then I did JavaScript. Uh, you also had different levels, like a black and white level, I think it was, based on like what time you submitted the challenge. So I like that because that was some it showed like you could show off like how fast you could do it. And it was also obviously all virtual instead of having to go somewhere. So yeah, that was cool. I really like the community and like the people there, the coaches and the students. I'm more of like an introverted person. So like, um, I know what it is, but I really like interacting with the people there. It's a very comfortable environment. And the coaches are also like really great. They're like very supportive not only for like the challenges to give, but also like for me personally, like future steps and like how to put myself out there in my coding world, yeah. Well, I definitely know I want to do like something to do with like coding and software in the future. Uh, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure what I would do, but I know some things I'm interested in are like, in are, like game development. So I might do something with that. I also like AI and like machine learning because that seems like something we might use a lot in the future. But I also, I also know I also like um, mixing like coding with engineering and mechanics. So I could also do something with that.